Hello, you guys. Welcome to a new vlog. So we have technology. So it is January eighth. So hello, hello, hello. It's ready. Five hundred and twelve point six pounds. Oh, five twelve point six. I remember when I recently was actually trying to get weight loss surgery, um, they wanted me to weigh myself daily. Yeah, I used to never want weight loss surgery because the fact that in my opinion and hopefully in everyone's opinion, um, weight loss surgery is the hard way. <laughs> so that's why every Monday I'm gonna do like the official weigh-in. So that's right now. People are like, why don't we get weight loss surgery? You can afford it. I don't want it. I don't want weight loss surgery right now. Um, I do have the money to do it, but I feel like at the size that I am, they won't be able to do weight loss surgery, so. But I would like to say, yesterday I was on track, yay. Um, I haven't weighed myself in a few days. For sure, every Monday we get a weigh-in. Since Monday the 1st, I am down 3.2 pounds. It just feels good knowing that the first week of 2024, I am on the right path. Weighing myself daily, I think, is really messing with my mind frame. So it's something I need to ask myself, like, should I just start doing it every other day? Because we're trying to reach that 100 pounds down. One pair of pants later. So if you guys remember my last vlog when I showed you the stuff I got from Ross, I'm just now putting it away. You know what I hate more than anything? Is when they put this sticky stuff that literally does not want to come off. But I tried to get it off and it's just like, no luck. So I guess I'm just going to, like, let it soak. I just realized it's also on the freaking cup because i got these napkins at target days ago and i'm finally about to put them in my little napkin thing all right so i chose the cherry ones it looks super cute on my uh, much much later. okay guys so i want to talk a little bit about like what did i do differently this last week like what am i doing to lose weight you did nothing nothing at all so i very much went back and forth between like do i want to just like like go crazy or no carbs like like 1200 calories that if i try to do something super crazy right off the bat okay i can't i just realized i can't snap my fingers with names. No one cares. so i know that if i was to just like be super crazy with it be like, like just eat meat and cheese and all that like i was gonna fail for dinner tonight i'm having turkey kielbasa and of course the mustard and cottage cheese remember when i would eat this way it just made me feel so much better i was losing weight and setting me up for failure because not only is that super restrictive but it's everything that I hate, the keto carnivore style, but that I don't hate meat. Meat creeps me out. I exposed, 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 exposed. So I said, scratch that. Let's be a little bit more realistic. I want to order out less. Uh, what I notice is nighttime is like where it's at. That's when I want to eat. I when everything feels like the movies, yeah, you bleed just to know you're alive. want the foods i got you know the munchies i just want to emotionally eat I, I need to teach myself how to cook more i just because i wanted to binge i just for some reason it felt so overwhelming to me to even just stand in the kitchen and that was my day just fighting off the urge to like order takeout or binge or whatever it may be i want to just like order takeout I, that's just like what i want to do at night that's very much like nighttime routine i'm i just i don't understand how like someone my weight like everything i ate yesterday it just wasn't a lot of food it just wasn't so i told myself let's not like continue that habit of like tons of eating at night so i have been i've been cooking more at home ordering takeout less i don't want to instacart or go to the grocery store and pick up candy and pick up chips and ice creams like i don't want that food addiction is hard because we have to eat to survive but i've been making more positive choices like the other day i really really wanted takeout and to be honest with you i wanted jack in the box i have something about a jack in the box spicy chicken sandwich just really does something for me i'm just getting an uber uber getting an uber eats guy and i usually don't like chicken sandwiches from anywhere i could i could eat like a 20 piece nugget from mcdonald's and a large fry in like two two seconds so that's why i want to do this like no takeout challenge and i want to talk a little bit more about it so like today's day one of my no takeout challenge and i don't want any food from any restaurant nowhere but it's like 
it's dry, it's crispy, it's good. Because when I eat foods like that, that are like filling and good and nutritious, I don't even finish it all because, but then you put some like healthy food in front of me and I get full, like a normal freaking boost person. Poosin, who's a poosin? And if I would have ordered from Jack in the Box, I probably would have gotten a large curly fry. We tried those stuffed jalapeno things. I probably would have gotten them too. If it tastes good, spit it out. I, I can't be having that Jack in the Box. Like, so I ended up choosing Panera Bread. I, I got the half and half. I did half chili. And then I got a half of a salad. Like, I can't even tell you the last time I ordered a salad from anywhere. Like, I do love salads. So this is the easiest salad. The lettuce. The dressing. Parmesan. Such a good crunch. And then I always add some Himalayan salt and black peppercorn. I'm going to add some chicken to... Anyways, I'm going to finish my salad. I know some salads can be over a thousand calories easy. So I am trying to focus more on like one better choices Two, stop eating so much at night three eat less obviously and four it's intermittent fasting it's always worked for me like every time i do it it just works so well and so i'm always just fasting so i fasted for 15 minutes and 33 seconds it can be kind of difficult so i so that's usually like 10 9 to 10 hours of me being awake and not eating which like I said, once the nighttime hits, it's it's hard. My window of eating does end two hours before I actually go to sleep, which works really well for me. And then last, I just move more. I'm just really wanting to work on my stamina this year. I'm not used to that. I don't stand on the regular basis. I don't stand that long on the regular basis. Like I have a Fitbit, I don't use it. I have legs, I really use them. I need to move more. Like overall, like in the last few years, my stamina has improved so much. If I And I do have exercise induced asthma. I but every time I exercise, like, let's be honest, I haven't exercised in a couple years. There's literal proof of me online in several um, multitudes. There's a lot of proof online. Like, I used to only be able to walk for, like, a minute and 30 seconds. Like, there's a clip of me only being able to walk for, like, two minutes. And I'm so out of breath. It's, it's frightening, honestly. And it's like, I look at my life now, and it's nothing like that at all in my daily experiences like me and my dog go for several walks a day i don't use scooters at the store anymore like i don't have to sit down to cook like i can clean for it breaks my heart to see that old footage of me like barely being able to do anything for hey guys i only used to be able to walk for like two minutes and now look at me it's like people constantly ask like how is it possible to be around the same weight but have better stamina? It's because building stamina and losing weight are two completely different things. Because for someone my size, it doesn't take much for that to go away. And I know my mom doesn't come from like a bad spot at all, but like she has told me like she is shocked with the way that I am and the things that I do. I didn't realize like what I was actually capable of because I don't vlog those things. I don't feel the need to like prove myself. For the lack of a better word, she's very complimentary. Compl complimentary? Oh my God, I don't think that's the right word. She likes to compliment me in the sense of like, wow, like you do so much more than I thought you would do at your size. Um, I'm not saying I could run a marathon. I'm not saying I could walk a mile because Actually, I don't know if I can. Um, last time I tried was a couple years ago and I couldn't. You're not gonna see me doing a 5K next week. Like it's it's not happening. Like, And I am low key hyping myself up because I am proud. I am proud of the accomplishments that I have made so far in my life. Like, So I am currently working on my Astro Boy while watching H3 Podcast. This is something I have been working on, the body. Okay hey guys, so I'm currently just doing some laundry. My dryer is still not fixed. So I'm putting away some clothes, washing some clothes, drying some clothes. But I want to end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I love you guys so much. And thank you so in my head again. You had your heart set on me. But these feels, they come and go.